of smiles in California this morning, not just from the Oscar nominations. One of the three Powerball jackpot winners from the Golden State. Oh, they were celebrating last night. They sure were. And if you haven't checked your ticket yet, here are the winning numbers. 4, 8, 19, 27, 34. And the Powerball is 10. Did you say 10? The Powerball is 10? We've got I got it. it. Hey, congratulations. What does that mean? Do you Four bucks. <laughs> hey, it pays for the ticket. And you still came to work. Yeah, still came to work. <laughs> paid for the it's not that massive one and a half billion dollars, which was split among winners in Chino Hills, California, Mumford, Tennessee, and Melbourne Beach, Florida. You're looking live at the 7-Eleven in Chino Hills. This is the live at the store. Oh, good. <laughs> Some time they were going nuts last night. <laughs> they you were. Why'd they empty out the store? Can I have some of those fried pork rinds? Like if you could just reach over. There's no line, so I'm sure you can get it. Not a lot of payoff in that picture, yeah. but TJ Holmes has been all over Powerball. He starts us off with a look at what one and a half billion dollars looks oh. like. Oh, yeah, okay. you like that, guys? <laughs> okay, not long after the drawing last night, one guy out in California realized he had won all of this. 1.6 billion dollars. That's what it looks like. Well, a couple hours later, he realized he didn't win all of this. He only won about this much, because now he has to split that with two other people. But before you start crying for him, they are all still doing all right. 1.6 billion among three people. That's still over 500 million dollars apiece, which still puts them ahead of Beyonce right now in terms of net worth. Guys, we got a fun morning ahead. A lot of numbers, a lot of questions. And Robin, I can write you that check for four bucks. <laughs> you can cover that for me. You're a good man, TJ. But the visual, seeing it like that. One of those winning tickets, as we've been saying, Chino Hills, California, that huge celebration last night at the 7-Eleven where it was sold. It was a wild scene. Big gulps and slurpees for my friends. Hey! ABC's Kena Whitworth is there for us this morning. Good morning, Kena. Hey, Robin, good morning. First of all, you won more than I did in the Powerball. I just want you to know that. And it was a huge party here last night. A lot of city pride. It was very cool. Now, keep in mind that California was the top-selling state in the nation in this latest Powerball run, selling more than 85 million tickets on Wednesday alone. And when I spoke with the regional manager, he told me they knew they were going to sell the winning ticket at a 7-Eleven because they were printing faster off that machine than ever before. <laughs> Jubilation breaking out at this 7-Eleven in Chino Hills, California, after the news that this store in a Los Angeles suburb sold the first winning Powerball ticket in the $1.5 billion jackpot. As an impromptu dance party grew louder, Chino Hills, Chino Hills. the owners of the store celebrated as heroes. Oh, I'm very happy and very excited and very proud. Now we're learning that at least two other winning tickets were sold, one in Florida and one in Mumford, Tennessee. Mumford only has 6,000 residents and is 30 minutes north of Memphis. Hopefully they're out there getting the best legal and financial advice they can find before they come in and claim that wonderful prize. Anybody in here that yeah, knows? Yeah. Across the country, millions of others trying hard to be happy for those winners today. I tried. I tried. I know how that feels. We're trying to be happy, but really, we are in the big picture. And you also have to keep in mind that the lottery winnings in California are not subject to state tax, so this is one hefty payday for winners here in California.